Hi everyone, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So tonight I'm going to do an affinity pour again. So I have picked out pinks and purples. So I've got magenta, I have pinky and rose for the pink side. For the purple side I've got breeze, which is a very, very pale, kind of white with a purple tinge. Ultraviolet and purple. So some are global and some are Raudo di Polo. They're virtually the same type of paint I find. Just um, I've got some, the Araldo is my newer brand and the globals, the ones I brought a while ago. So they are the colors. And I have also got black, white and silver. So because because black always takes over when I do a lot of paintings, I have half the amount of black to every other colour. So my ratios are 15 grams paint, 25 grams Floetrol, and 10 grams water. So each one is going to be 50 grams in total, except for the black is just half that. So I've got 100, 200, 300, 425 grams all up and I haven't added any silicon or anything else to it just paint water flow troll so that is the plan now I'm just trying to figure out which color I pour into so I might use because I'm doing a dirty pour um, I'm just going to use one of the colours and just pour the other colours into it. So I'll use the medium purple and maybe the medium pink one. So I'm going to pour the darker pink and the lighter pink into the pink and the darker purple, lighter purple into the purple. Add some black, gold and silver and that should be it. So here we go. I always just give everything a quick little stir just before because I've let them, I mix these up uh, two hours ago and I just let them settle a little bit. So pour them in from a height and let them um, go into the cup. So the first part will always sink into the paint. Um, the second, well, the, as it gets a bit more lighter, the, the other part kind of floats on top. So that way you get a good mixture of paint throughout the cup. So I'm going to do one colour. Then I'm going to use half the white. Half of the black. And, and always definitely stir the silver because it settles a little bit. And half the silver. Then the rest of the darker purple, which just felt a little bit thicker than the other one. Oh well. Some paints thicken more when they sit than others. They were all the same mixture, but it just, I think this one just decided to thicken up a little bit more. The cup's quite full. So now we've got the pink. So I'm going to pour the light one into it. So I'm hoping this, this should look pretty cool having these two colours. Pinks and purples always look good together. 
I'm not afraid to actually admit I do kind of like pink as a colour. <laughs> I grow lots of flowers and a lot of my flowers are pinks. So some colours are transparent, some colours are opaque. So usually with that combination you'll get some sort of, I call it effects, because sometimes it's lacing, sometimes it's um, cells, sometimes it's just a reaction from two different paints being together. So it's really just an effect rather than a set thing. I maybe should have put the silver in before the black. But actually, it probably wouldn't matter if the black and... <clears throat> pardon me. It probably wouldn't matter if the black and white did make a grey, because grey would actually go well with pink anyway. But that... some Sometimes black and white, you just got to be careful We're always putting right next to each other. There we go, silver here. But I think this should actually turn out to be a really, really nice combo. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out. So sometimes when I'm doing a certain pour, um, I think of a nice colour combination. But because I don't want to do the same video day after day, I have to put that colour combo in the back of my brain and go, I'll do that in a, a week or two. So that way you get differences. I like to mix it up so that people get to see a different video. Um, occasionally I'll do one two days in a row but I usually try not to do more than two days. I don't have a set style that I only, so some people get um, end up just doing one style. I don't I like to mix it up. I don't want to become, and that's good. If, if people like that, that's fine. I just find, I think I would get a bit bored if I did the same one all the time. So I try to do different things. Um, I'm a little bit, um, I get distracted and I don't want to, if I did the same thing all the time, I would kind of get a little bit bored and I think I would lose my, not lose my passion, but I wouldn't be as excited about it. When when I mix it up all the time, I kind of get excited about what's going to happen today and things like that. I'm just going to check that I'm still recording. Yes. So. This is the fun part. Doing, doing things that you like and going, I think this color will work well with this color. So I like purple because it, it does actually go with quite well with blues. It goes well with um, teals, goes well with pinks. There's a lot of colours that purple goes with, but you do have to sometimes be careful that one colour doesn't overtake. So pinks can be quite strong in their colouring as well. Um, I find magenta can often take over a painting. But we will see. And... Now, it's just going to be a matter of, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to do this. Yep, okay. I always do this just to make sure I've got my coordination a little bit okay. Sometimes when you pick up the cups, your coordination gets messed up anyway, so. Oops, okay. Now I've got to start tilting because I did it a little bit. That's a hard thing when you do this. Start, uh, did a little bit close to that edge. So move it around a bit. If you see a bit that you prefer, that you don't like as much, you can pull that off now while you've got the chance. But instead I'm just going to go over the edges. I'm going to go that corner. 
this bottom corner. I'm liking that deeper magenta in this part and try not to pour too much of that off. Uh, uh, a bit came off. Oops. Hold on the right spot. It's getting a bit slippery there. Okay, now, now you've got all the four corners covered. I'm just going to make sure that I actually... So I've got pink hand and purple hand. So purple on this corner. And down this corner. Just be careful where you hold your hands that you're not holding them over the canvas. Pink on that corner. And this corner is mostly pink. So that's actually quite cool. I've kind of got a purple corner, purple corner, pink corner, pink corner. And now I've got all my corners done. You just move it around until you've got it where you like it to be. And if there's any part you don't want, pour it off now. I'm wondering if I should... Hmm. I don't think I really want to pour off any of these corners. I think I like them because this one down here where my thumb is, it's got a little bit of pink just coming around the edge and that. So if I tip off any of this purple, I'm going to lose that bit of pink. And I think that's giving it a little bit of interest. And being a infinity pour, more cells and effects will pop up as you leave it. So in a few more minutes, you'll just get a few more things showing up. Usually more cells always turn up after just kind of even as you're looking at it. So I'm going to get my gloves off because I'm going to drip it everywhere. So I'm happy that I got, I didn't actually get a lot of black. I've got greys. So that's what I meant by when I poured the black and the white on top of each other, through here and through here. I got more grey than black, which is probably quite good. Um, same with down here, a bit of grey. Some of the white has come through. I can see black underneath these colours. There is a bit of silver in here. And there's silver that's running over. So the edges have actually got kind of what looks a little bit like miniature pearls. I've come up on the edges, which they're not real pearls. I think it was just um, how you get this speckling. And because they're on the edge, they're kind of just stretching. So it looks a little bit like pearls. But yeah, I just saw a couple of things pop up in here. I may try and give this a slight torch. Because I haven't torched an infinity pour. And I wonder whether I'm going to get different effects. So let's give it a try. There's never any harm in trying something. So there is a few bubbles that are popping. So that's a good thing. So one thing to be careful of, I put my blowtorch on the ground. So in the process of doing that, I have picked up a tiny bit of dust. I think that's dust. Yep, and it fell into there. So just keep that in mind if you do do things like... I, I put it on the floor so it's out of the way and because when it gets hot I don't want it to touch anything so I keep it on the floor but I um, must have had a tiny bit of dust down there and when I was shaking the torch around it's fallen in so it 
It actually looked like it was some of my fluff from my one of my socks or something. I wear socks all day long, well, all night long when it's winter because I get too cold. But this is pretty cool. I wouldn't say it's full of effects. I'm still learning to... It, it, sometimes it's hard because you, you're watching both your hands and you don't want to too much paint to come out at the beginning because see how I've got the purple streaks going across the pink and then I've got these pink streaks going across the purple. I probably wouldn't mind if I was able to hold the cups a little bit more steady as I do it so then I get a little bit more of the pink and purple crisscrossing over each other. But I'm, I'm super pleased with this. I'm really happy. And it's one of those things, it probably wouldn't look too bad if there was a little bit more black in it. But if I put more black in, it, it's one of those things. Sometimes I put more black in and I get lots of black. I put not much black in and I get hardly any at all. It's finding that fine line of how to go about it. But either way, whether it's got more black in or not, I'm actually super happy. And like I said, the only part I would have done is I would have tipped a little bit more off this corner. But I love it how I've got the pink on the edge. And if I tip it off and then bring it back, all I'm going to do is just stretch this purple to make it bigger. And I think that would actually change the composition a bit. But this is good because I've got purple with pinks. So ultimately the way I see it is, I've got purple corner, pink corner, kind of purple, purple corner and pink corner. So it's given interest all over. And there is purple going through the pink, pink going through the purple, some black, white and grey and silver popping up. So, yay! I really do, really do like Infinity Pours. So, if anyone does do an Infinity Pour after watching my videos, show me what you've done. Because I really, really would like to see what other people do. It's, it's not just fun to do a painting yourself, but it's fun to see what other people do that is... Like they see your video and go, I want to try that. And then they do it themselves. And then you get to see what their interpretation is. Because we all do things slightly differently. But this is it. Not much. Um, it may get a few more little cells in time. But I don't think it's going to change too much more now. It's probably settled into itself. So I'll bring you down for a closer look. Look at that. Isn't that great? So I could see, I could definitely see my niece wanting this. She would be like, that'd look good in her bedroom. But um, I probably wouldn't mind it in my room anyway. <laughs> but this looks cool. You can see the definitely the pink going across the purple, the purple going across the pink, the grey that has come up here and up here. Um, there's white streaks in there. So we'll go down and have some closer looks at some areas. So here you go. See how you get like, white bubbles and effects and let me show you the corner see how I kind of get like little effects all down the side of it I quite like that but this is the the good part where you get the colors that definitely stripe across each other and they don't overly mix they kind of bleed into each other a little bit, but not to the point where they turn into mud or anything. And so then you've got the greys from the black and the white mixing. Over here you've got the silver with the black and white. And see all the little cells that pop up? That's just the different colours mixing. And when you do the dirty pour, they, they tend to do that. Some of these were here are from bubbles um, that got popped from the torch. And that's that pink corner I was saying. I love how it's blended from pink to a mixture of them and then goes back into the purple again. Down here. And more of these edge, edge cells or edge pearls that have come up. And they're around the whole thing virtually. So... This is Infinity Pour in pinks and purples. Thank you so much for watching. Share, um, subscribe if you haven't. Like, leave comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night everyone. Bye.